what's up? Sixtayo here. Today I'm going to be just you know, kind of explaining a few things as of uh, right now for the iOS 7 jailbreak. It was just released roughly about, I'd say, 6 a.m. Uh, Mountain Time, U.S. Uh, or about 45 minutes ago, exactly as of right now. But um, anyway, the issue with uh, A7 devices is uh, there is no ARM64 support for mobile substrate. Therefore, a lot of shit is not going to work, even though if you can install it, such as Pandora Downloader, which is right here. This is also my iPad Mini Retina, or iPad Mini 2, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and obviously it's jailbroken, I see it right here. Um, also, just to show you that this is a uh, Retina iPad Mini, let's go ahead Go to the Cydia homepage. That's cool. And all. Let's see if you can see that. iPad 4-5, iOS 7.0.4, Cydia 1.1.8. Also, Cydia is not updated with uh, full iOS 7 stuffs, so uh, I'm gonna have to wait for that too. But um, otherwise, I was able to. Uh, Crashed on me. What is going on here? I am confused. Bye. There we go. Anyway, um, so you can add some repos. Um, as of right now, I think that the Exilies repo is the uh, is being heavily downloaded by many users right now. So if you go and try to download it as of right now, you probably won't be able to. But I was able to get uh, Sinful iPhone repo. And from that, I was able to get Pandora Downloader. Now, uh, the way Pandora Downloader works with uh, the latest update on iOS 6, um, I mean, here's the app right here. Then you go into your downloads and stuff like that. In my settings, I have everything on. So I have unlimited skips, Pandora 1, unlimited listening, and uh, no monthly limit. Uh, none of this stuff for whatever. And uh, normally what you can do is uh, while listening, you, know, you skip to whatever song it's the uh, same functionality out of the Pandora app. Play, whatever. And normally you can uh, just go in and uh, click this little guy right here. And there will be a save song icon. That is, uh, or a little option for save song or something like that. And then you can uh, set it to where it'll go to the application and then go back to Pandora. Or it'll just download it and It'll be in your uh, downloads, and then it'll be in your songs, which I have nothing in here as of right now. Now, this is a iPhone 5, which is not an A7 device. It's a A6 device, which I just barely installed Pandora Downloader. And we're going to see how this runs on a uh, on this little guy. Turn all this shit on. Also, I did install Mobile Substrate on this one. This is my roommate's iPhone 5. I have not done my iPhone 5 yet. I uh, was dead and just sitting on my desk, but uh, we'll see how that goes later. Because I don't know how it uh, actually works on uh, iOS 7 yet. This is actually my first time trying it. Mobile Substrate. Yep, Mobile Substrate is installed. Now, the reason why... Uh, well, I think I explained this at the beginning of the video, but the reason why Mobile Substrate is not supported on A7 devices is because the A7 devices have a 64-bit uh, processor in them, which uh, Mobile Substrate does not support yet. Or um, it's ARM64, which it doesn't support specifically. So we're going to go ahead and open the Pandora app, which I do believe my roommate does have. There it is. And we'll just try downloading whatever song is in there, see if it's even there at all. So it looks like uh, you get full functionality of Pandora Downloader on iOS 7 with the iPhone 5 or iPad Mini uh, 1 or uh, iPod Touch Fit Gen because that is also an A5 or A5, I believe that's an A5 device. Um, but A6 devices do, uh, you know, they are supported. But um, otherwise, yeah, A7 devices, no up there. But, um,. I mean, let's see, Sork, he posted something saying it was about 5 a.m. He's really tired. He's uh, not working on it as of 
this moment right now, but it will be uh, released pretty soon through the mobile substrate update. So your shit will work. Now, um, a lot of the stuff that I actually purchased in the past on my iPhone 5 or iPad mini uh, 1, when I did have it, um, I purchased a lot of shit, and uh, on these, I cannot install them just because of that you know, lack of support for mobile substrate. But uh, once that is updated, everything will be good with life, and life will be good because the jailbreak is out. I mean, though we can't really do a whole lot with it, um, there's some stuff we can still do. Like, we can access all our root files, such as, uh, you know, just every file in the entire OS via iFile iFile fully works. You can download it through uh, Synfly from Repo for free. Um, I do not know if you can download the purchase version as it's a purchase version. I don't know if it has something to do with accounts. Um, registration failed. I just got a little message right there. But I can go through all my files and accounts and stuff like that. Or uh, assistant at Surrey. Let's see what else can I go through. Oh, hey, I could probably get my Game Boy app back too. <laughs> but um yeah I mean that is uh, just a uh, quick rundown of uh, A7 issues with the jailbreak anyway if this video helped you out at all comment, subscribe, follow me on twitter at 6 0 uh, if you want to leave a comment in the boxes below make sure you deselect the share via google plus box or I will block you from my account you will not be able to contact me whatsoever but otherwise um no, hope this video uh, helped you out. But um, yeah, that's about it. Okay.